Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Morrowind Book Club, the series where I will be reading and sharing my thoughts on the many books that we will come across in our, we'll say, adventures in Morrowind. Today's book is called The Firmament, and it has been generously donated to us by the Census Office in Sedanin. So, without any further ado, let's get started with The Firmament. The Firmament by, is that F F? F okay, so that's like Falk. Falk? Or is that an E? I'm pretty sure that's an F because that's an F as well. So Falk. Not sure who wrote that, but anyways. The stars of Tamriel are divided into 13 constellations. Three of them are the major constellations known as the Guardians. These are the Warrior, the Mage, and the Thief. Each of the Guardians protects its three charges from the 13th constellation, the Serpent. When the sun rises near one of the constellations, it is that constellation's season. Each constellation has a season of approximately one month. The serpent has no season, for it moves about in the heavens, usually threatening one of the other constellations. Interesting. I think it would be interesting to uh, look up at the sky, uh, you know, while playing Morrowind, and see if uh, this, if the, the sky actually changes uh, based on the different seasons. That would be that would be an interesting thing to to, tr uh, to take a look at and see if they took that into account when uh, designing the game. So it appears that the book's going to go over the various uh, different constellations. So yeah, let's go ahead and read this here. Uh, we have the Warrior. The Warrior is the first Guardian constellation, and he protects his charges during their seasons. The Warrior's own season is Last Seed when his strength is needed for the harvest. His charges are the Lady, the Steed, and the Lord. Those born under the sign of the Warrior are skilled with weapons of all kinds, but prone to short tempers. The Mage The Mage is a guardian constellation whose season is Rain's Hand, when Magicka was first used by men. His charges are the Apprentice, the Golem, and the Ritual. Those born under the Mage have more Magicka and talent for all kinds of spellcasting, but are often arrogant and absent-minded. The Thief The Thief is the last Guardian constellation, and her season is the darkest month of Evening Star. Her charges are the Lover, the Shadow, and the Tower. Those born under the sign of the Thief are not typically thieves, though they take risks more often and only rarely come to harm. They will run out of luck eventually, however, and rarely live as long as those born under the other signs. I love that the the art for the constellations is carried over from Arena. If, uh, if you've been with me for, uh, since the beginning, you'll uh, you'll uh, recognize these these images from the, the character creation uh, from uh, the uh, from Arena. It's like the, the exact same image. Um, I also find it interesting that uh, you know we're, we're playing a thief, and uh, that's uh, it's uh, it's it's a her. It's female. I don't know. I don't know why it's interesting, but it's interesting to me. Anyways, it uh, looks like we go into the, some of the smaller signs now. The, the, or we'll say, yeah, the smaller signs. The serpent wanders about in the sky and has no season, though its motions are predictable to a degree. No characteristics are common to all who are born under the sign of the serpent. Those born under this sign are the most blessed and the most cursed. The lady the Lady is one of the Warrior's charges, and her season is Hearth... Sorry, Heartfire. Those born under the sign of the Lady are kind and tolerant. The Steed. The Steed is one of the Warrior's charges, and her season is Mid-Year. Those born under the sign of the Steed are impatient and always hurrying from one place to another. The Lord. The Lord's season is First Seed, and he oversees all of Tamriel during the planting. Those born under the sign of the Lord are stronger and healthier than those born under other signs. I, you know, uh, I, I, I'm gonna have to go back and take a look at the um, the bonuses when you choose your sign, and see how they cor uh, correlate with this. This is very interesting, and I, I I'm kind of um, um, at odds if they should have included, uh, we'll say, this book or the ability to read this book before doing the character creation. Um, Rather than afterwards, after you've already made the choice of what sign you're born under, I think it would have been kind of, you know, then they give you this book. I think it would have been kind of interesting to see it the other way, but, eh, whatever. The Apprentice. The Apprentice's season is Sun's Height. Those born under the, under the sign of the Apprentice have a special affinity for magic of all kinds, but are more vulnerable to magic as well. The Atronach, often called the Golem, is one of the mages' charges. Its season is Sun's Dusk. Those born under this sign are natural sorcerers with deep reserves of magicka, but they cannot generate magicka of their own. 
The Ritual The Ritual is one of the Mage Dischargers and its season is Morning Star. Those born under this sign have a variety of abilities depending on the aspects of the Moons and the Divines. The Lover The Lover is one of the Thieves Chargers and her season is Sun's Dawn. Those born under the sign of the Lover are graceful and passionate. The Shadow That's our sign here. The Shadow season is Second Seed. The Shadow grants those born under her sign the ability to hide in shadows. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more flavor text, but okay, I guess that works. And the Tower. The Tower is one of the Thief's Charges, and its season is Frostfall. Those born under the sign of the Tower have a knack for finding gold and can open locks of all kinds. Alright, so that was the Firmament. Basically, it's a, a book outlining the different constellations, um, you know, the, the, the different constellations in the skies above, uh, above Nern. Um, which is basically the land that Tamriel resides on. Tamriel being the, the province, or sorry, not the province, the, the continent, but Nern being the, the name of the actual world. Um, I'm wondering, can we see? I, I think it's kind of convenient here that, that the, the sun's gone down and we can actually see the stars. I don't know if we can actually see the uh, constellation. Oh, is that a constellation right there? What constellation is that? That is... Um, I, I see the, the, there's two eyes. And there's, there's, there's the three here, and there's another sort of three here. Let's take a look at the book real quick. Uh, I was gonna say... Uh, you know what? This looks like the warrior to me. Uh, the warrior's own season is last seed. So here we have the warrior up in the sky. And let's actually, if we take a look at... Um, actually, our, our journal would have the date. Last seed. So last seed is... What time we are currently in the game and I realize this is beyond the scope of uh, what's in the actual book but I think it's a good example of what the book uh, shows in the detail in the, the game world so uh, uh, we'll say where is it yep last seed and as, as it's uh, stated right here when the Sun rises near one of the constellations it is that constellation season oh so is the Sun gonna be rising near that I, I, th I thought it said that the Sun sets near one of the constellations Actually, can we see any of the other constellations? Is it just because that's the only one that's in the sky currently? Will eventually, you know, the sky cycle and we will get uh, the the mage and the the uh, the thief as well? Oh wait, we, we we've got uh, some blue ones over here. So we've got a sort of a pattern of uh, I, I want to get a, be a better view over here. Um, there we go. And what would and what would you? That's the thief. So the, the the bright blue. I can see it. Those are like the eyes, and then you can see the movement. It's moving off in that direction here. Uh, we got like three really close to each other. Then we kind of have like a sort of a uh, a, a boxish kind of shape. Uh, let's take a look at the thief. I'm pretty sure that's it. Hmm, maybe not. We have the three pattern here, and then the one, uh, one of the the hood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. I'm still pretty sure that's the thief. So we have the thief over there. We have the the warrior over in uh, that direction to the west. Where, where did you go? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's the warrior there. That's the thief there, and the mage. I'm going to assume is probably over in this uh, this side of the the sky. Or is he straight up? Oh, he's straight up. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, are we looking at him the right way, or is he upside down right now? Let's take a look. Mage. He's got the... Let's see. Uh, like this, maybe? I think that might be the mage. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably... The, 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 we'll say the brightness of the, of the stars is a little bit different than what I might th think. So you got the, that pattern there. I believe that that would be the mage. I think. Or is it this way? This might be the mage. <laughs> In one of these configurations, it is- that is- Oh wait, like, maybe like that? Yeah, that might be it. I think that- that's it, because you can see his eyes are right there. It's hard to hold it steady, though, because I'm looking almost straight up. Interesting, so I will- I will be keeping an eye on the, the skies as we play through the game and see uh, how the constellations shift, if they do, in fact, shift, and I really hope that they- they do. Um... However, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm wondering a little bit because the warrior's constellation is over in the, the west and if, uh, and I believe, well, the, the sun set in the west, so we'll see when the sun rises, uh, presumably in the east, 
you know, uh, it, maybe it's not necessarily, uh, the book is not necessarily accurate, or we'll say rather the game was not done with the same amount of detail. Anyways, that was the firmament. Uh, yep, if you, if you like these kind of videos where you just sort of look at the books, maybe explore the, the elements within them, you know, go ahead and give uh, the, the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And um, until next time, I'd like to ask you all to game on.